So, any other thoughts while I got up for a minute? Well, I just think it's, it's, it's going to be, it's just going to take a lot of different things that we need to do to get this all set up. So, maybe um, we need to just try and do it kind of bit by bit. Okay, so, so did you want to try to set up? Go ahead. Well, so we've got the formula for the goo, which is a start, I guess. Um, big deal. Finding someone to help set all this up, I think we can do once we have everything in place, because there's kind of no point in getting someone now if nothing's in place to go. So I think kind of trying to come up with some ideas at the moment about where we might want to try and house these guys and how we're going to get them there. I, mean, I suppose before we even think about trying to break them out, we need to find a place that we are happy with, is secure enough, is hidden away enough, and we'll have everything in place for when they get there. So having enough goo for in vats for at least maybe a, a month while we make more, and having enough food to feed them through tubes, and uh, oxygen, and the power I mean, we need to get all of that done before we even think about trying to break them out. Because that needs all to be in place, so we can just literally get them from A to B, plug them all back in again, everything's going. So maybe maybe trying to think about where would be a good place to do that. Well, another thing on that is that takes a lot of cash, and we don't have that kind of cash. No, we don't. There's nowhere near that kind of cash. How do we make some? <laughs> God, see, me and Doc stood in the street corner in our finest dresses. <laughs> <laughs> it always ends up with you guys dressing as checks. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah. When you find out the solution for making cash, you're going to be fucking pissed. You'll be like, could have said. And I'll be like, mm -hmm. well, I was going to say, uh, Chris could go and speak to his demon god. I mean, let's face it, that thing can basically just electronically transfer fucking any amount of money it wants. Kind of, kind of. It's got limitations too. You're pretty con convinced. Otherwise, if it had no limitations, it wouldn't need you. If it didn't need you, oh, no. you'd probably be if dead. It has limitations as far as it can't actually go out physically and bring in materials yet until it has its drive. I was going to say. <laughs> it, as far as like, you know, oh, you, you know, you need to cover this car payment, uh, 20 grand, gone, done. It doesn't have money. It just fucking makes it, think, you know, find money from somewhere else. So Chris could just go to him and be like, Indigo, I need shitloads of money. Give me money. And then have that redirect it towards what we need to do. I'm sure that his God will answer his prayers. For a small price. Go sell. Hello. <laughs> Chris is eating. He wants you to carry on talking and stuff so that he can eat. And uh, I'm eating gummies. Yeah, but he's he's eating like a green goo. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, oh my god, it's salad. Oh. With tuna, yay! <laughs> I like killing flipper, but you know. Hmm. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anyone else that is rich and would also like to see this happen. Hmm. Who would else benefit from this happening? Maybe 
rivals of New World Industry? Paragon hasn't sold all of the cryo things yet, have they? Do they still have some so they can sell when they need more money? Hey, yeah, it, 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 was, it was talking about as though they had sold them all, but do they have one or two sitting around still? You have no idea. They don't print that kind of thing. It's like, oh, we still got two in the fucking closet that we're hoping to fucking know. We could hit, because <clears throat> we've not been into Chrome Blaze, right? That's another thing completely, right? Well, actually, you... Chrome Blaze, Chrome Blaze the actual um, office itself, well, the main company is based out of Minsk, Belarus. <laughs> so, yeah, we haven't been there yet, because... Well, you, you've been in there, what's it called, uh, one of their satellite offices, which was in the AppFly building. Mm -hmm. You know well, that so because... that's where the research was. Well, that's that's where some of the records were that you'd gone through. But they don't have... But that that is their satellite office, is the records that we looked yeah. through? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Where would I look into trying to hire uh, a hacker to get schematics of the city, like underneath where that warehouse is, to see if there's a way in that we could take? You know, give me a memory roll. Got it. Ooh. You remember looking at a lot of fucking schematics that have tunnels and shit on them <laughs> recently. In the face. Yeah, the you know. Whole city? Uh, yeah, you know, you know, you know. I mean, some of it seems wildly imaginary, but it could be real. You, you just, you, nobody, nobody in their fucking right mind would go. You know, Logan, we're going to see if. Plus, you're not even sure if there are tunnels underneath the warehouse because um, uh, it's really close to the water, and the water table would be much higher there, and generally that's a bad place for basements or tunnels, or if there are tunnels, they could be submerged. But you do already have a lot of maps and shit that may or may not show the area in question. All right, so let's... I'll. I'll go make a copy, a physical copy of that map, and then get a physical copy of the city um, so we can lay them out and look to see if it matches up and to see if there's any tunnels that go underneath. Hmm. You know, it'd be so much easier if you just take Alex with you, but, you know, I can understand not wanting to do that for any reason. <laughs> Sure. Uh, right. You uh, so you're just going to head back to the base. I'll bring some other with me. Oh, good. Excellent. I was pretty sure you'd forget and lose another fucking van because you know. No, By I'll the way, the metal. yeah, your camera is off center from your head now. Did you move it? Because it, it's like you're doing your yeah better yeah yeah so anyway right you go back uh, yes uh, indigo is delighted that you brought it metal and stuff and uh, you make uh, uh, printer 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 printer. Printing strips. Fuck it. Yeah, you eventually assemble a monstrosity of a map. Indigo asks after a while what you're doing because you're kind of doing it in an odd way. I'm trying to get to schematics of, of, of tunnels underneath this warehouse here in this part of the city. Indigo gives you a shopping list of stuff to go get. 
to come bring here and it will help you set up a cool table that will be able to display things in 3D, including tunnels, buildings, and shit like that. Okay. I'll go make that happen. Excellent. Yeah, Indigo pays for itself because it's part of its base. It has a lot of pride, you're believing, in its base. And it would be very put out if anything were to happen to its base. Mm -hmm. Yes? Good. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. Fair warning, are ye, says I. So, yeah, uh, no problem. Yeah, it sets up the cool, like, it, it's the table with, like, the cool metal chips and stuff that kind of go up through magnetism and stuff. And, you know, and the tunnels and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's much better than fucking Xerox, as you're thinking. <laughs> um, if only Alex was here to see this. He may draw some conclusions that you don't. He also may attack the table. You're not sure. He'll probably attack the table. <clears throat> fair, fair. Um, right, give me a... What skill do you have for... Oh, cartography would be lovely. I don't have... Well, I have some cartography, but... Uh, Alex is a fucking master cartographer, you remember, as you look angrily at, into the oh, distance. I I Can I make a part. print out of this, though? Uh, no, no, this is a metal table. It, it basically uses magnetism and pieces of metal to make and unmake stuff, giving you amazing views of whatever you fucking want. It is the fucking cool table of amazing. Okay, but it can freeze right here so it doesn't continue to do things. Uh, yeah, of course. As but long as it, Alex doesn't see it moving, for all he knows, this could be just a model. Wow, I'm giving you a fucking card for that. Yes, you have found a way to fool Alex. Yes, that is exactly what he would think, is that you have sat there with a fucking uh, glue gun and a lot of pieces of metal and made that shit happen. So, okay. yes. Pause this right here. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, I will you've got Alex. And oh, oh, and when Alex comes, <laughs> can we not have all of the drones all over the place or all your minions? Uh, he doesn't like them, and I need him. Can you find someone better? I'll work on that. <laughs> right. Uh, the the minions and stuff uh, uh, are going to be in a different part of the uh, base. They're basically starting, some of them are going to be used to dig stuff and all that. The only one that will be nearby will be the uh, retina scanner. To make sure okay. it's you. All right. So I'll go get Alex and then come back. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, give me a simple fly roll for hilarity. Just don't fumble and you're fine. Just God damn I it. failed, but not fumbled. All right. No problem. Yeah. You're, you're thinking if you get like rollers on your car so that, you know, anything you hit, you just roll off of. Wow. So much better. But yeah, you bring Alex. Um, he, he does not seem to like the one that crawls up your fucking pant leg in the creepiest possible fucking fashion, and then grabs onto the skin under your eye, and then <laughs> runs. He's, he's uh, uh, not on your eye. Do you want to punch it off of him? Oh. He's like, uh, you got some. It's okay. It's okay. You got some. My pet. And then it, it fucking goes. I am, I am, I'm going through the, the, the base. Fucking on edge. I'm like everything, everyone, everything. <laughs> Chris, I'd recommend walking a few feet behind him, like five, maybe okay. more. Because, uh, well, actually, maybe ten. The sword reaches. He has a hell of a lunge. <laughs> so, anyway, he takes you in and he shows you a metal model that he made over the last hour or something. Wow. Good book. <laughs> Thank you. I worked hard on this, yeah. <clears throat> right. Now, give me a cartography, Alex, as you go, oh, I think this may be the warehouse that we were at for a month. Uh, do I have... Oh, no. No, no skill cards. Okay. It's gonna... By the way, Chris, the control, since it's beneath uh, Indigo Bumble. 
Get it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is definitely... Uh, Tunnels under it. it no is, problem. This is a uh, schematic for a, uh, the, the human digestive system. Mm-hmm. There's a pancreas there. Mm. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Doc, Doc Fulton has the stabby look in his eyes. He has the look that when the scalpel goes bad. I might as well roll my own cartography then. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> you guys as well. Uh, now, okay. Yeah, you guys look for a while. The the control that uh, controls the table is a very, very, very simple AI that you can say reform to this, not because, but that's beneath them to go to fucking be your map table. <coughs> so as long as he doesn't, as long as Alex doesn't say certain words, <laughs> then the entire thing won't collapse in little fragments of metal and shit. But if he does, <laughs> Then things will go very badly very quickly, or he'll think you broke your model and laugh at you. Can I use land search. navigation to figure it out instead of cartography? You know where it is. You know where it is. You're just trying to read read a remarkably complicated 3D map. But yeah, definitely tunnels under it. Okay, can I find like what tunnels are like the main tunnels that might be under it at least, or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 think that now this is what you're believing you believe that now with the information you've got make some fucking hand-drawn maps and shit that you can go from where you're at underground through the stinky sewers of fucking rotting to this place but until you try it you don't know all right well let's go do that let's go scout it out hmm. what do you think I don't suppose. Hmm. No, that's not going to work. I was working out if I had any other skills that might translate across, but I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, we can go and just go and look. Indigo's been oddly quiet since Alex has been in the base. I give the dog shifty eyes at the, the machine wall of demonness. Mm hmm. No problem. Nothing at all happens. Apparently, Indigo is trying to work with his minions a little bit, or it's plotting on you. I'm so going to stub my sword into his porthole. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys uh, go for a long, long walk with your fucking waiters and the stinky sewer of unspeakable things. Can we take Eagle with us, please? Uh, Igor makes a luck roll not to be here. <laughs> Fumble. Fumble. If he fumbles, you fucking encounter him at the doorway. Oh, Crit. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Igor is fucking far away, moving fast. He's like, oh, somebody just walked over my grave. Run, run, Igor. He's still, he still up his uh, danger sense quite well. The villagers are coming with pitchforks again. <laughs> So, anyway, you guys are heading over there. Who wants to be primary navigator? Who would like to be secondary? Uh, how good are you at land navigation? Is this land navigation? I've heard sure. it. I, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm, you, you, you do me. Oh, I'll do you. I don't do you. <laughs> I don't I get it either, but I don't fumble with it. You guys are completely fucking lost. You have no idea where you are. You're thinking you're going to die down here. I think we turned around turning that way. Let's try it that way. It okay. points in a random direction. That's not even a tunnel. You push his hand over a little bit, so he's pointing at a tunnel. <laughs> he agrees. This is the right. But uh, right now, Alex, since you're the navigator, give me a luck roll. Low is good by half. No. Oh, uh, right. Eventually, you get to a place that might be a place that you think that could be on there. You could try again at negative 10 for land nav. I don't support. I don't get mine at negative 10 now. Yeah, you, you, you are, you come to like, you're, you're in a fucking maze now. You have one chance to get out. Otherwise, you may well die down here. And due to your luck roll, you haven't even encountered anything really fucking dangerous yet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
Right, Matt, give me a land nav at negative 20. No. Yeah. Is there, you, you, you guys live in the sewer, mm -hmm. and there, there's plenty of shit to eat. Um, Does the phone events. GPS work down here at all? <clears throat> oh, no. You, you can't even get a phone signal on an elevator, much less What about a Wi-Fi signal? No. All right. Yeah. So you're going to die down here. Um, yeah. We'll look for an exit, I guess, and then we'll try again. And, any exit? Sure. Um, right. Give me a luck roll there, Doc Fulton, since you suggested the exit. Maybe there'll be one right next to you. Nope. They don't have exits down here. You're just in never-ending <laughs> tunnels. <laughs> oh, my God. I just realized something. What's that? <laughs> that... That suicide booth might not have been there anymore. <laughs> Do you remember what happened in the uh, the, the fantasy world when I got the special powers? Do you remember what one of the powers was? Something about when I die? Oh, fuck. Completely forgot about that. Take a refill for reminding me. I forgot about that as well. Yeah, it, it, it shouldn't have been there now, but apparently maybe it caught up later. I don't know. Mm, awkward. Awkward. Jeez. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. No. Uh, I might find it. I might get a good car. Let's see if I get a good car. Yeah, well, right now you're pretty much wondering whether the fucking albino crocodiles, <laughs> the underside people, or the chuds are going to oh, get you. I like the chuds. <laughs> Alex was actually friends with the chuds in another country. That's hmm. <laughs> so scary. Uh, uh, oh my god. So no exits. Only endless, endless tunnels full of shit. I've got, I can't, uh, I've got uh, leadership. Oh, thank God. So, I'd leadership a couple cards in the curse's hand that might be good or something. Do you want a, uh, I've got a negate. Am, am I being followed? Do you want those, Chris? Have you got two shit cards? Yeah, that's fine. Just toss them under oh. me. Or, you, or do you want the heel vehicle or steed for your next driving? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's three yeah. good cards. So if I give you the, the gate and the heel vehicle or steed. Okay. Let's see how this works. How did you well, you can trade in one of the cards also before you use your uh -huh. card. Just put it right on my face. Yeah, just put the cards on his face. Oh. Just like Bokaki. And Nagasaki. Nagasaki Bokaki is the Flocky. I don't know. They flocky to Nagasaki for Bokaki. I think you have to hit trade again. Ah. Oh. Actually, but hell, if you can't do multiple cards. No, I think Probably it's not at once. Right. Now we use my uh Leadership and draw two cards. <sighs> Come on, two cards. Give me something good. Fast draw, fuck off. Oh, god damn it. What's that? Oh, cruel fate. What's that one, though? Bad guy of GM's choice gets four cards. Mm. If another NPC is involved in card play or becomes involved. This is negated. Or at the time, at the, sorry, at the GM's option, he can draw new cards to a different NPC. Groovy. Bad guy. Let's see. A fucking albino crocodile ridden by a chug. Jesus, I love that. Um, <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. World of Pain. Everybody immediately discards all of their cards and does not refill their hand. Fuck. Well, that worked. Does anybody have a negate type card? Wait, if it's not a bad guy, that's not part of us. 
No, no, it's everybody, it says. Everybody. Little bitch. Little bitch. Well, that sucks to talk. Yep. How did we get here? <laughs> so we discard all our cards? Yeah. yeah. It's actually not bad. I've got fucking shit. How do I discard my card? Just drag them onto the pole. Drag them from there onto the pole. Oh, there it goes. No, I'm just not dragging high enough, I see. <laughs> Neat. All right, so the bad guy managed to destroy the party. <laughs> Says the albino crocodile riding on top of a chud. Um, <laughs> I think being ridden by a chud, but that's it's even better. <laughs> so, right. Um, yeah, apparently fucking fate is as against you guys as possible. You're down here in the sewers. I mean, at this point, the, the water is deep enough. You could make a raft out of turds and try to fucking float to somewhere better. If, if there's a creek that you're up the paddle without, this is it. All right, well, we just continue going until we find a way out, I guess. All right. Uh, this time, Matt gave me a luck roll because Chris tried and failed the last one. This is... Got it, but nothing special. All right. Cut two. Um... You guys managed to claw your way out. You're both fucking... You, you you got so dehydrated that you had to do unmentionable shit, which is probably drinking your own urine. Much better than anything you could find down there. <laughs> You've been lost for about a week down there. It was fucking horrible. You're both ravenously hungry, pretty much covered head to toe in shit, and generally in a bad attitude. Okay. We go get we go to Burger King. We hook it up. <laughs> they they see you guys coming in. One of the guys like, by the door, I've told everybody this would happen. Nobody believed me. Now at last I am <laughs> they're like, shut up, Phil. So anyway, yeah, you, you guys fucking stop by, eat food, get showered up, hose down, all that stuff. Spend a couple of days sleeping, drinking, etc. Right. Cut to many days later. Shows you guys both lit the POW looks in your eyes. So now that we have a map of the area, why not mm -hmm. just go and enter the sewers closer to the warehouse, making it a little bit easier instead of just walking across the city? I was going to say that. Wow. That's a great idea. So cut to you guys head over there and give me a simple land navigation, whoever's wanting to do it, to make everything you. good. You, you want to get the right sewer hole. There's Holy a lot crap. of different places. I support. Hey. I don't make it. Right. He opens up a sewer thing. Water. Just fucking solid water. It's like, well, not only water, but much water. Look at those fucking rolls, man. Ridiculous. All right, well, we'll have Chris to find another one. Sure, give me a land nav at negative 10, Matt, as you say, well, what about this tunnel? No. How about this tunnel? Negative 20. No. How about that tunnel? <laughs> negative 30. Mm, fumble. All right. There is plus no five, because I support. That last one with a plus five, is it still a fumble at negative 30? Negative 30, 20 something. So, yeah, probably. Um, navigation land 52, so yeah, plus five would be 27. So, okay. yeah. yes. <clears throat> no, obviously, it's not meant to be. Well, what next? Mm. How deep is the water? Can we get in there, or is it just full? You, It's full, but you could get in there. The problem is that it's flowing at a decent rate, and you would need some... You basically, the only way you can see to do this would be scuba-ing. 
assuming you both have excellent scuba skills, you're fine. Some of you may not have great scuba skills if you're from the 1930s or whatever. But at least after the breeze. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Yeah, yeah. It, actually, he wouldn't need the scuba stuff. Fins and stuff would be good and are not electricity. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So, what so at night, is the same amount of guards on this building at, as during the day? Yeah. Um, by the way, Corey Nichols is wanting to test out his Google Hangouts. I'm sending him an invite for here. I'll pop in briefly and then bugger off. Um, I uh, forgot to make my roll for the day, but I just have. Uh, yeah, the, the number of guards doesn't change. And from your month of surveillance, their routine actually after a month of surveillance, you kind of got their routine. They, they've definitely way fallen into let's do the same shit every day because guarding shit is boring as fuck. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that time also, uh, no big shipment deliveries or anything. It appears to be pretty static here. Do they and monitor like up on top? Could like someone fly and drop us off on the top of oh, the building? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that close. I mean, the, the closest you could probably get would be like a halo jump, if you were to halo into it. I was going to say, in a, in, a, in a place where you've got flying cars, mm. I think the security for above is going to be just as bad as... Yeah. And even for people below. Well, that's why, well, I thought it was weird that we were able to get a drone up into the window area to see inside. Well, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's the kind of thing that you did it on the opposite end of the building as their thing. But yeah, if they saw it, then they don't have like fucking super motion detector all around and stuff. And the dogs don't really mind the drones so much unless of course they think it's a giant fucking Frisbee. Which would be funny as shit actually. My drone! <laughs> That's 3,000 pounds. Mm. Um, so what was your idea with the tunnels anyway? You were, you were expecting to try and come up underneath the building? Yes. Mm. And I, I assume it's fences, razor wire type shit. Yes. Uh, however, if you had like, uh, did I suddenly get off kilter? No. Okay. If you had uh, 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 fence cutters and shit, you could definitely cut through that. Uh, are they electrified fences? No. No. But there's uh, like or the guards are immune to electricity. Either way, you did see one lane against the fence at one point. Okay. But there's like 100 yards, you said, of like clear area around at, at points, right? There's like nowhere that we could really be sneaky, sneaky. I, it would, it, if you were to do it at night, assume because they, they're, they're more of the flashlight brigade than the fucking uh, uh, infrared brigade. Or you know, low light scope or whatever. Um, oh, I know. I always my sense electricity to make sure that the defenses aren't electrical. Go for it. <laughs> um, Come on, quick. No, no, but I got it. He goes, eh, defenses aren't for everything else. Is I hate this planet. No. And then he has a moment. <laughs> and by moment, I mean a bad one. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, the uh, trying to basically, you'd have to low crawl uh, across a big dead zone, uh, which is very possible. It's just it slow. It'd take you like at least an hour to go through. You know, um, if they were hanging out in the area, if you went someplace where they might only drive by now and then, 
probably get across there in a few minutes. Um, it's possible. It's possible, but they do occasionally have guards walking around the fences to make sure nobody's cut in, but that's much more rare. Um, your biggest worry at that point would be the fucking dogs. Dogs, 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 bad. And how often are the dogs out, though? Are they always out? Oh, they're, they're always out, and... And the guards don't walk. They keep they keep in their vehicles so that they don't become dog food. Because apparently they keep the dogs a little hungry. Okay. Just a bit hungry. I'm not saying they feed them gunpowder and fucking <laughs> poke them with sticks to make them mean. But they, the dogs are definitely looking, shall we say, to... Supplement their feed. Okay. I could just see that. Go, go. Come on. Do they have patterns? Like, since you said that we, we surveilled for a month and you said that we know that there are patterns and everything, is there breaks in their patrols that we could get across? But it's the dogs oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that are the problem. The dogs are your fucking biggest problem because even if they don't come and attack you, they like to, if anything, get. Like one day you did see somebody got too close to a fence and the dogs barked at them and shit like that. And then more dogs came and all that. So, yeah. So what you're basically saying is we need to take a cow's worth of steak with us. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, plus, the, you're not sure what kind of weird cyber augmentation has been put on these dogs and shit. Extra steak. <laughs> we like steak even more. So, if you overload cyberware, does that usually knock out whoever has the cyberware on them? Depends on uh, what uh, type of cyberware augmentation they have. If it's something dealing with their brain, yeah, it's a good chance of that. So the dogs, we've seen a lot of them. Could I tell what kind of cyber og, ogs they had? Uh, give me a cyberware roll. I have no idea if you know what kind of shit that they have. Of course not. Why would I? Mm. I'm gonna punch there you go. Roll twenty and face really fucking soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting some real fucking bad rolls. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to get like three stinger missiles fucking go to town and then just check out inside and then walk out and not give a shit right now so you do actually have three stinger missiles but they do need some sprucing up especially the one that's leaking fluid is stuff i don't care this i'm just gonna hit the button <laughs> spray and pray with that shit <laughs> mm. the duck's back <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 apparently um, even the simplest plans thwarted. If uh, Doc smoked and was trying to flick away his cigarette butt, now is the time when I'd have him roll it because he'd be using hairspray in the morning and the wind would blow back into his hair and light it on fire. Hey, Paul Michael Jackson. Yeah, old Doc at this point would just fucking put a barrier around the place and, lay, you know, just go to town. Make With his golf screaming. club. Mm -hmm. Just make them start screaming. And then it all doesn't matter because they just need to stop. How can you argue that? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so <clears throat> EMP weaponry does, does exist or no? Uh, it's big. It's expensive. It's very, very, very illegal. Um... But it's possible. Okay. Don't recommend it necessarily because people might get a bit snippy about that sort of thing. Snippy? Um, violently psychotic. We're breaking into like a... Oh, that part's okay. But if you use an EMP thing, it's it one big enough... Uh, well, another, another problem with EMP is it, it does it's an area effect that doesn't not recognize friend and foe. Oh no, I was and, going for something more like personal, like if I like a weapon that I could shoot at someone that would oh, not those, go anywhere. No. no, they don't they don't have those. Okay. Sorry, I thought you wanted to just take out all the electronics in the area. Would a taser affect cyberware as well or no? 
Unshielded, yes. Shielded, which is normal because people don't want to get hit with tasers and shit now. Uh, but with given how many overload cards are in the deck, pretty much fighting anybody is cyberware. I'd say that, well, not today because you guys got the worst fucking luck I've ever seen today. Um, yeah, as soon as an overload gets hit, then you know you'll now be fighting a guy whose left arm stopped working or whatever. It's like ah, my body is breaking down. You know. So here's my thoughts. One of the things the guards aren't know. really the guards aren't really big time augmented though. It's just the dogs. I wanted okay. to point that out. The guards look like normal guys. They're making their fucking normal wage, going home and fucking their normal wives in their normal homes with their normal kids and their normal fucking poker games on Friday night, and their normal porn stash. Oh, sorry. So one of the things I was thinking about doing is uh, we can get like water balloons and fill them because you can buy animal piss like of wolves and you can toss them in there to see how it affects the dogs. The dogs go nuts because they're scenting on something. Maybe we do that over the next couple of days so the dogs are just going nutty and the guards just don't know what to do about it. And so after we do that for a couple of days, then break in on like a third or fourth day. That way it's like the alarm keeps going off. What the fuck? And uh, they don't really pay attention to it anymore. What do you think? Hmm. It's it's uh it's not really foolproof, though, is it? Nothing's going to be at this point. This no, is I know, but... gonna be rough no matter what we do, and the dogs are the biggest problem. The people mm. not so much. I mean, sure we want to make it quiet, but we also I mean, if the dogs are just running around being stupid and yeah. they're attracted to the scent, that might even give us enough time to get into the building without them scenting us. Could be. So the dogs are kind of free roaming. They're not handled by... And they're hungry. So literally, like, if there was some way we could get, like, we, droplets we, of meat with sedatives in it over in the fence they're gonna fucking gobble those up and they could be out for hours possible maybe but they I mean, only like they pcs though cheese oh cheese that they, 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 they get to get dogs to eat like, um, like a bunch of... that was another thing that i was thinking of too the, the classic putting sedatives in the food and mm -hmm. seeing what happens that might be a better way because if they're out then at least they're out. The only problem with that is, because I'm thinking the dog, the dog, uh, the, the wolf urine thing is a good idea, but I think it will still make the dogs go crazy because they're all going to start whimpering and or you know or barking because they can sense the wolf. So it okay. might be it might be as much of as an alert to the to the uh, security force than it is if they just smell us. But the only problem with the sensitive was is all it takes is for one guard to come across one sleeping dog and he's going to be like, what the fuck's going on? So well, we can also know. find the dogs and get rid of them once they're asleep. <laughs> because if they have roving patrols, we just have to know where to stick the dogs where the patrols don't go. Yeah. If it's like Logan said, the the flashlight brigade so they're just looking where they usually go and if they're in vehicles they're not really looking over the grounds they're just there as presence mm -hmm. and then they're to react to any alarm set trip so what um what about the oh, okay so Logan, in, in the time you surveilled at any one time how how many dogs normally are there in the grounds 20, 30, something like that. Dark sleep. That's a lot of dogs driving around up. Mm. Yeah, the dogs are pretty much the main thing. The guys are the the 
I don't want to call them the brains of the act. They're probably not that. But they, they're the guys who can push the big red button if some bad yeah. – like if they if yeah. they weren't to see the dogs, they may push the big red button because sometimes the dogs on a fairly routine basis chase the fucking car that they drive around in. I don't want to call it a game because the guys in the car are probably not really happy about it. And they definitely, if the car broke down, they would just fucking ring you for help. They wouldn't get out and drive fix it. They'd probably be eaten if they did. Now, do all the dogs kind of chase the car? Or no. What? Some some do, some don't. The dogs the dogs don't act with one hive mind thing. That right. could be some of their That's augmentation. A, it's just so, it's such a, a randomness to it. It's, yes. I'm actually thinking, no matter how what it takes, I think your first idea is probably the best. Be honest, Chris. Then you just go underneath. Underneath? Do you mm. want to try to map it out again? And hope. <laughs> we can try and find maybe a different route from a different side. All right. Actually, there is one other possible uh, route, but uh, us and from both of you can give me a simple. I would say simple, but not the way Roll20 has been going. A evidence analysis for something new. Half. Cr uh, crumble. Right. Fumble. The halo jump is really the only option. But fortunately, they were making uh, parachutes back in World War One, also known as the Great War, and only the Germans have. So you need to get you a German parachute from World War One. To do a halo jump in. Mm -hmm. Right, we need German parachutes. <laughs> okay. I think I know where we can get one. Mm -hmm. Now, from you, Chris, you're thinking, and again, it would require scuba diving or not needing to breathe with goggles and flippers, but coming in from the sea has not been investigated at all. Doubtless, you will be doing a lot of complicated underwater scuba work that people make big money these days for doing because not a lot of people have the skills. So, it need to be scouted. But, yeah, you're basically back to – you can't think of a way to do it without either scuba or dealing with the dogs to get in there. So we deal with the dogs. <laughs> I mean, I know that we haven't checked out the waterway, and it's because I know both of us don't know how to scuba dive, and I know that we're both going to sit there and die in the fucking water, choking on seawater. And I'm not going to fucking do that because you fucking die, and I'm, that's, well, that's dumb. Alex, Alex may have a way around that. You'll have to talk to your partner about that. Uh, what? Is there a way to go in and breathe underwater that you know of? Oh, I don't need to breathe. <laughs> Look at Chris's face. It's fucking priceless. Like, you motherfucker. You didn't mention this for the months we've lived together. So you don't need to breathe? No. Well, as long as I, you know, do something once a day. Oh, I see. So that's, that's me. That's not you. I can't transfer it across. But see, uh, you could always go and scout it out since you don't have to breathe, right? Could do. <laughs> Would you like me to have a go? Okay. <laughs> My name grows longer every day. <laughs> I told you Alex Kinley was on the fucking list. Ooh, why would he be on there? This is why. This is why. <laughs> Well, you know. All right, so go and look. Right. I need, I need, I need gear. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Walter. You realize that there's other stores you could get gear like this at, right? Yeah, I like Walter. Okay, Walter. He's wearing a, a ripped-up Hawaiian shirt and. Uh, like just baggy clothes and shit. The Hawaiian shirt's like over his other protective clothes and stuff. He scowls at you. I need a full scuba outfit. <coughs> Goggles, flippers, no tank. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, your, yes, sir. One moment. Uh, 4,000 credits, please. No. Mm hmm? You insult me, sir. I go to another store now. Uh, 5,000 then. No. Six? No. Wait, what do you what do you need? Just like a wetsuit and some flippers? Yeah, he's he's getting he's getting really greedy. Bad Walter, three thousand five hundred. Bad Walter, give me a bargain roll to try to bring him down. Really, that much for a scuba outfit? Yeah. No, yeah, well, wetsuit expensive. is a hundred bucks. Flippers um, are another fifty, and goggles yeah. are like twenty. There's, yeah, nice. I go to a sporting yeah. goods store and I buy this shit for him. I get my bargain roll. I uh, he can go down to a thousand. Yeah, no. Lean your head out so I can slap you. <laughs> he says, Ooh, there's, "There's a lot to it, though." No, it's not. I'm gonna slap you so point. hard, money grubbing. You've already made a lot of money off of us. You're gonna keep doing this. Uh, yeah, I was kind of planning on it. He says, "We just go. We leave." All right. Uh, yeah, you can get medium wetsuits for around $100. Um, call it 300 with all the shit from the actual sporting goods store. He went down to 1000 because he was going to have to go drive in his car, go buy it, hope it fit, bring it to you. There you go. Hmm. Well, this sucks. Bulls. Mm. Well, you can get much more expensive uh, wetsuits and stuff, too, if you want to. I can't even expensive one. I just need one to keep the shit off me. Yeah. So, uh, right. Did you already make your roll for today, sir? Yes. Oh. So, now, all I'm going to need is a simple swimming roll. Because you're playing under the surf, there's rip tides, there's currents, shit like that. Hmm. We've got no cards. This is not a good idea. But what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I pretty much know, and it's not good. Now, I'm pretty sure that I did put points in this one. I sure I, hope I, so. I know that I'm intelligent, and yes. Yes, by a lot. Right. Uh, you found what you believe is a good way in. The only problem, and it, it doesn't look like it'd be that difficult. Of course, Chris will fucking long dive from lack of air <laughs> from going to the surface to here. But you're fine. Um, pretty much all you have to do is remember to keep your mouth closed mm -hmm. while you're underwater because this water is also polluted. Mm -hmm. But the main thing that will prevent you from getting in is a big steel... Uh, great, yeah. and it's a big, and it's like this big pipe that you can, so you also need like lights and shit, which they don't make torches that burn underwater that I am aware of. Light sticks. Divers right, oh yeah, the glow sticks, glow sticks. Glow sticks. Glow, yes, his friend the glow stick, yes. Okay, so you need, you need some strong ass glow sticks, because uh, again, the water's polluted, yeah. and uh, something to burn the bars away yeah. underwater. They have underwater torches. Oh, yeah. That's why I was saying before that the shit you would need is this kind of like underwater uh, stuff is a whole occupation that people are paid big money to do. And so basically you just do that and then you can swim. Then you could now if you wanted to, Matt, what you could do right now is ignore all that. And give me an amazing strength at half roll to just fucking bend the bars like a fucking boss and sw then swim your ass in there. If only I had a big gym slade. A big gym slade would be much more effective than any uh, acetylene torches for underwater. Here we go. Yes, yes, I got strength at home. <laughs> right. You oh. wriggle in. You know that if you were wearing a tank and stuff, not a chance, but you're pretty much just wearing a it's suit. Such an awesome. You're setting this all up for when Chris has to come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you, you realize that it'd be pretty much impossible to hold your breath for anybody as long as it took you to get So then you go on. I breathe for him. You could try. I don't think that's how it works. Anymore. You could try. Well, air does come out of you. Who knows? 
who knows? Because if there's one thing Chris wants, it's to fucking be repeatedly French kissed by Alex Kinley <laughs> for a long time. Because <laughs> that's been his dream since he was a wee child. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, then you swim up and eventually you come to another great. Uh, it, maybe it's in a floor or something like that. Right. And but this one's pretty small. This one may be a contortions at a plus to get out of. But yeah, and air tank, chill like that, definitely wouldn't fit. And unfortunately, if you had to drop an air tank, you'd go a long way down. And probably way too far to hold your breath. Just wanted to point out for those unfortunate people who still need to breathe <laughs> like chumps. <laughs> so <laughs> now and this, this is going to be a rough strength roll here. This is going to be a like negative 10. To go, because, but this one isn't like keeping people out. This is just a simple grape, but you're in a really bad. <laughs> right? And you set it to one side. Now, to get out will be a contortions of plus 20 because you're not wearing a tank. If you had a tank on it, it'd be uh, fucking I'm, negative. I still have contortions. Now, if, if you fail your contortions of plus 20, you're pretty much hoping somebody comes to save you like Chris. Oh, by the way, did you guys want to wear your mics? You've got them, and they're, they're waterproof and shit. Yeah. I mean, they're, these are really, it's nice gear. Got it. Okay. Right. Good, my you, you're, you're as slippery as a greased Scotsman. <laughs> so, right, you flop on it. It looks like you were in some sort of chemical drain are we, thing. Are we doing, sorry, did we do the um, uh, microphone? It's up to you guys. I yeah. don't mind. Because it's a way of not splitting up the party. Sleeping bear, sleeping bear, I'm going in. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> you, you didn't, did you say you didn't like this stuff? Which? The posh one. No. I really like it. Good. Okay. Excellent. Well, so, sorry, we're in the... You you are actually in. Give me a luck roll lowers bar. I'm curious which building you're in and shit like that because you just kind of found a fucking yeah, tube. Okay. And... Where were these rolls earlier? Look at that. 10, 30, 12, 14, 63. Yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah, you're, you're in the building you wanted to be in. Uh, there's <laughs> robots and shit wandering around, Can you imagine ignoring you. Put my head out the fucking kettle. <laughs> if you had fumbled, then I was going to fucking have, because you don't have your sword and shit with you. Swimming with that, way too awkward. Uh, but I was going to have a dog just fucking go, <laughs> like the top of your head. <laughs> right. So, shit, so I'm actually in. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, what's, what's hard about that? I mean, sure, if you were actually needing to breathe and doing scuba and shit, this would be fucking a rough thing and, you know, needing to actually fucking do underwater welding and stuff. These are fucking hard skills, but, you know, when you're just a fucking brute. Papa Smith, Papa Smith, I've gained entry into the building. Over. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, is it rough to get in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're lucky he likes you, because if he said not at all, then you'd be like, <laughs> just drowning. <laughs> we, uh, we do have other problems as well. Well, mainly, mainly, mainly the fact that we might be able to sneak in here, but we're not going to sneak in the mass amount of transport we need to get these things out. Sure, but the reason I wanted to get in there is so I could see what ah. is there and whatnot. Gotcha. It shows Alex refusing to go out of the fucking chemical drain area because everything else is wires, electricity, and robots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the expression on Chris's face. I can, maybe, <clears throat> I can maybe get you this far, but I can go no further. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't you come back, send you down with torch, like the torches so you can cut so that I can get in there easily, or easier, okay. and uh, I'll try to scuba, I guess, and die. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that'll be exciting. Ooh. 